Hey guys, we're out driving around. <laughs> I'm gonna do a reaction video while driving without watching the video while doing the reaction, if that's possible. Uh, I just don't have a lot of time, so we're, we're doing this now. Uh, the video that I wanna talk about, somebody brought up in the YouTube comments the other day and said that other YouTubers are picking up and they said, oh, we, you know, we're too late. Other guys are taking care of it. Um, I haven't watched anybody else's reaction to it, but I guarantee my take on it is going to be different than theirs. Just because I watched the video and I, the responses are going to be predictable. Um, but uh, it's, man, I don't remember this woman's name. Uh, Officer Brianna something. She's blonde. I'll put a picture of her up right here. Um, she's in her cruiser, in her uniform, with a uh, sticker covering up her badge. And she's talking about people driving slow in front of police cars and how annoying it is. I'll get to my, I'll kind of take on that here in a moment, but I'll, I'll give like my overall take on this kind of video in general. Uh, I would say that any police officer who posts videos in their uniform, in their cruiser, is a dumbass. Don't do it. It's so cringy. Um, I hate it. Other cops hate it. <laughs> and if, if other cops are telling you that they don't hate it, it's because they're idiots too. Every cop hates these TikTok, TikTok cops and this whole craze. It's freaking dumb. The other thing is that when you, anything that you post while you're in your uniform, regardless of if you take these minor little steps to cover up pieces of your uniform, everything that you say opens you up for discipline with your department. If you do things not in uniform, like I do, and you don't talk specifically about who your employer is, and you follow all those rules, then what you say becomes a First Amendment issue. And your employer does not have the authority to uh, clamp down on you for your first exercise of your First Amendment rights unless they breach certain parameters, which you just have to make sure that you, you don't breach. So I want to talk about that. That was her biggest problem. Um, th then let's get to the context of what she said. Um, I'll go ahead and, if I haven't played the video yet, I'll go ahead and play it now. PSA to everyone out there. I'm speaking for myself, but I'm probably speaking for a large majority of other officers out there. If we're driving on the freeway in our police car, get the f*** out of the way. Get the f*** out of the way. If you merge and we follow behind you and we merge too, you're probably in trouble. Best way to find that out is get the f*** out of the way. I can go 90 miles an hour. You can't. You can't do that. So get the f*** out of the way. If us officers stay behind you long enough, we can find a reason to pull you over. So you might as well get the f*** out of the way. Super simple. That's all. You're welcome. Alrighty, so what she's talking about and I've thought about making a video about this myself. Um, when I'm driving my cruiser and I'm not going lights and sirens, I'm just trying to get down the road. It's everybody freaks out and they slow down and they don't let you get around them. It's just this like, it's, it's a very frustrating thing about driving a police car around town. I was actually just bitching about it with one of my buddies the other day because we were sent on a run. We were both dispatched at the same time. I was several miles further away from the location that he was. It wasn't like a super emergency run. So it wasn't like, hey, we need to meet up before we go in. Uh, it's, But it's one where you don't want to be, you, you just don't want to be an asshole and get there way after your buddy gets there. You don't want the run to, you don't want your buddy to have to basically take care of the run before you get there. So <clears throat> it was one of those runs, I think, as I was pulling up, he was walking out. He's like, hey man, it's this is taken care of, you, you know, we're not needed. And uh, I apologized to him. I was like, dude, I'm sorry. I was trying to get down the road. Um, I was in the left lane and then the cars in the left lane slowed down. The cars in the right lane were going faster. I get in the right lane, I'm trying to go around. And then all of a sudden they slow down, I'm boxed in. I can't freaking get down the road. I was pissed off. So that is something that is very annoying and what she was saying was you don't have to slow down because I got behind you if I wanted to pull you over 
I would have already pulled you over. I didn't get in behind you to try to find something on you. 99% of the time, I'm just trying to get down the damn road. Um, now, what she said was, um, if I want to pull you over, I will. I'll find a reason. And I know that's got a lot of people pissed off. They're, they're labeling her a tyrant cop, all this other stuff, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> if you're a regular person driving down the road and you're not a, a dope dealer or a gang member or something like that, we're not looking for a reason to pull you over. Um, there are cars that we are looking for a reason to pull over. Like if we're sitting up on a uh, house that we suspect is dealing drugs, when I say suspect, I mean, we know goddamn well that, that the people in that house are dealing drugs. It's There's no question about it. But if we're sitting up on a suspected dope house and a car leaves that dope house, Jesus, I got behind someone going ridiculously slow. They're going 40 miles an hour in a 60. Um, so if a car leaves that dope house, I might trail that car. Or I might have a plane clue or a plane car, like an unmarked car, trail that car. And I might be quite a ways off. Um, when they're following that car, they're looking for a traffic violation. They'll call back to me. They're like, hey, Ben, um, they failed the signal and they made a right hand turn onto First Street. That's your violation. Go ahead and make the traffic stop. That's how we do things. Um, if I see a car that I'm in uniform and a marked cruiser and I want to pull that car over because I think it's dirty, um, I'll follow that car, but I'm not going to follow it directly behind it. What I might do is if it's in the right lane, I might sit in the left lane um, or I might put a car in between us so that they think I'm not looking at them. Um, the car that I'm directly behind is not the car that I'm targeting. It's not the one I'm looking for a reason to pull over. Now, there are tactics that um, I've heard of guys on the freeway using, uh, troopers particularly, when they're looking for impaired drivers. Um, they will be driving down the freeway, they'll see a car up in front of them, they will accelerate, and they will go flying up and then sit two car lengths behind that car. And it's obvious that they are being tailed and that they are being watched. They'll wait for the person driving that car that is like constantly staring up in their mirror, checking their mirrors, seeing what that cop's doing behind them. When you're doing that kind of thing, you're going to make a violation and the officer is going to pull you over. Um, that's a tactic used by freeway guys for interdiction purposes. It doesn't necessarily work in the city very often or not just interdiction purposes, but looking for drunk drivers, which is what we want cops doing, right? Um, so at the end of the day, what she said wasn't that stupid. Her presentation was kind of bad. Um, she comes across as like a real hard-nosed person. Um, she kind of has resting bitch face. Um, I'm not, <laughs> I don't know. There's no way to really respond to this video without saying some of those kind of things. But like I said, her biggest mistake was that she, um, she made this video in, or this, yeah, she made this video in her uniform and she, she didn't choose her words very smartly. But overall, what she said is something that police officers talk about all the time. Uh, you don't have to slow down just because I'm behind you. If I was looking to pull you over, I would have already pulled you over by now. Um, I always tell people, unless you have a human head hanging out of your trunk, I'm not trying to pull you over. I'm just trying to get down the freaking road. And if you listen to the two minute look back on a lot of my body camera recordings when I'm pulling up to a run, you'll actually hear me. I'm just trying to drive down the road. I'll get in the left hand lane and then someone will like dive and slow down and I'm screaming. I'm like, get the fuck out of my way. I'm just trying to get down the road. Like it's very frustrating. I think that's all she was saying. I think that her, her video was innocent enough, but she made some poor decisions by doing it in uniform and she's not the most articulate. Uh, that's not a crime. That doesn't make you a tyrant. Um, just means that you made uh, an error in judgment. People are allowed to make errors in judgment. I don't know anything about her and the rest of her, what she's like as a police officer. I don't know. If there's more, there's more. But that video doesn't tell me anything about her as a person. I don't know. That's about all I'm going to say about that. Thank you for watching. 
I'll talk to you guys later.